From the world's first electric-powered helicopter to the largest helicopter ever built, here are nine of the most extreme helicopters ever. Number 9. The Volocopter 2X With more people living in cities than in rural areas, traffic congestion is getting worse. To address this pressing problem, key transportation players are looking to the skies. Forget self-driving cars. Your next means of commute might be a flying machine like the Volocopter 2X. It's a multi-rotator electronic helicopter with 18 propellers. Its cabin seats two people and it can fly without any human intervention. It can also be steered by using a joystick with guidance from assistive support systems. So basically, you can just use a remote control to get to work. The Volocopter 2X has numerous advantages over ordinary helicopters. It's much quieter and doesn't pollute the environment. It doesn't need fuel and can use renewable energy, making it a sustainable form of transportation. You can control the Volocopter using your smartphone and summon it to pick you up at the nearest hub. When it drops you off, someone else can summon it and so on. Uber for the skies. The 2X has a max payload of 160 kilograms with an operating weight of 290 kilograms when empty. It can cover a maximum distance of 27 kilometers when it's cruising at 50 kilometers per hour. Its 18 motors are powered by nine independent battery systems, with each system supporting two motors. Plus, it only takes 40 minutes to recharge. The Volocopter 2X flew for the first time in the U.S. on January 8, 2017, during Intel's keynote address. It utilizes some of Intel's technology, and it's owned by eVolo, an aviation startup from Germany. They market the Volocopter 2X as a certified ultralight aircraft, with the selling price available upon request. Number 8. The V-22 Osprey in 1980, President Jimmy Carter sent the U.S. military to rescue 52 American workers held captive at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. The mission failed and the Army learned some hard lessons. There was an urgent need for an aircraft that could transport and deploy combat troops on any surface quickly. It had to have a good range, speed, and the ability to perform an amphibious landing. Aircraft manufacturers Bell and Boeing jointly entered into a contract with the government to create an aircraft with these capabilities. After years of development and testing, they produced the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, which was the world's first tilt rotor aircraft. What is a tilt rotor? When the V-22 is taking off or landing, it operates like a helicopter. During these maneuvers, the helicopter's nacelles, which house the engines, are vertical and the rotors are horizontal. Once airborne, it rotates the nacelles forward to 90 degrees, making the rotors vertical. In just 12 seconds, the V-22 transforms from a helicopter into a high-speed turboprop aircraft. It has more incredible features, like the ability to perform a rolling takeoff and landing by tilting its nacelles to 45 degrees. It can fold its blades and wings in 90 seconds, which makes it easy to fit the V-22 in an airplane carrier or a salt ship. Six prototypes flew for the first time on March 19, 1989. Presently, various divisions of the U.S. Army use the V-22 for logistics support, combat search and rescue, and warfare support. They are critical to the president's security detail, particularly on overseas trips. How much is it, you ask? Remarkably, a single V-22 costs more than $200 million to build. Number 7. The Mill Mi-10 the Mil Mi-10 is a large helicopter categorized as an aerial crane. The Soviets made it in the 1960s to transport bulky loads. It was an improvement on the Mi-6 helicopter, and it holds several world records for transporting heavy loads at high altitudes. On May 28, 1965, it airlifted a load of 25,105 kilograms to an altitude of 2,000 meters. The Mi-10 lifting ability is complemented by tall undercarriage legs and a wide track under the fuselage which allows it to taxi overloads. It can comfortably carry 28 passengers or a weight of 3,000 kilograms in the fuselage with a ground clearance of 3.75 meters. Can you guess how much this monster weighs? Well, the Mi-10 weighs 27 tons when empty. It can achieve a max speed of 335 kilometers per hour but it cruises at 180 kilometers per hour with a range of 430 kilometers. Mi-10s are still active in Russia. The Soviets also made the most powerful heavy lift helicopter in history, codenamed the Mil Mi-26.
And now for number six, but first, be sure to subscribe if you are new here. Number six, the AH-1Z Viper. This helicopter is a technologically advanced military helicopter launched in the year 2000. The U.S. Marine Corps incorporated it in 2010 and full-scale production began in 2012. The intimidating Viper has some of the best weapons and technologies such as an infrared suppression system, radar jammer, and a radar warning system. It carries about two tons of weapons on its stub wings, which complement its frightening look. Furthermore, it can accommodate more weapons, including anti-ship missiles, incendiary bombs, and supersonic missiles with infrared target detection technology. Like in the AH-1W Super Cobra, the co-pilot or the gunner sits at the front and the pilot at the rear. It can operate during the day, at night, and in adverse weather conditions. The Marine Corps has plans to procure 189 Vipers by 2019. That's just right around the corner. Number 5. The Hughes XH-17 Dubbed as the Flying Crane, it was one of the first attempts to create a heavy-lifting helicopter in the U.S. The Kellett Aircraft Corporation designed the XH-17 but sold the blueprints to the Hughes Aircraft Company in 1947. Howard Hughes, the company's founder, remember him? Commissioned the XH-17 to be built. By 1948, it had taken shape. To cut costs, the fabricators salvaged parts from World War II airplanes. They got the undercarriage from a B-25 bomber, the rear wheels from a Douglas C-54 Skymaster, the tank from a B-29 Superfortress, and the cockpit from a Waco CG-15 glider. This Frankenstein monster had a maximum takeoff weight of 43,500 pounds. It still holds the world record for the largest rotor system at 36 meters. But the size of this rotor made the drive system inefficient, thus limiting its range to 64 kilometers. It flew during test flights for three years beginning in 1952. However, it was too cumbersome and inefficient to continue operating. Number 4. The MIL V-12 The MIL V-12 is another gigantic Soviet helicopter which holds the world record for the biggest helicopter ever produced. But it resembles a normal airplane with rotors attached to the wings. So why did the Soviets decide to build such a monster? The MIL-V-12 was meant to transport heavy loads such as missiles to the remotest regions of Siberia. Normal planes could not handle the task since the areas lacked airports. On the other hand, the MIL-V-12 could carry 196 passengers with a crew of six. It broke several world records like lifting 40,000 kilograms to 2,255 meters on August 6, 1969. There were only two prototypes built. The first almost tore itself apart during a trial in 1965. The second prototype flew in March 1973 from Panky to Lyubertsy. The Soviet Union discontinued the V-12 since transporting ballistic missiles was no longer a top priority. One prototype remained in Panky. The second is exhibited in the Monino Air Force Museum in Russia. Number 3. The Sikorsky X-2 Commercial jet planes cruise at speeds of 878 km per hour to 926 km per hour. One of the fastest civil helicopters, the H-155 made by Airbus Helicopter, has a mere top speed of 324 km per hour. Evidently, helicopters are slow, but the Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation based in Connecticut aims to change this by churning out fast models such as the X-2. Before the X-2, there was the S-69, which introduced the advancing blade concept. It could reach a top speed of 444 km per hour, but its airframe vibrated excessively at fast speeds. Sikorsky abandoned the S-69 model, but recent developments in airframe materials have ignited the manufacturer's quest for top speeds. The recent X-2 model is bred for pure speed. It has two front rotor blades placed in a coaxial configuration and a pusher propeller to drive the X-2. During a speed test in September 2010, it reached a top speed of 287 miles per hour. It's much quieter than the S-69 and can fly at 10,000 feet. Sikorsky has also implemented the ABC concept in the S-97 Raider military helicopter and in the Eurocopter X-3, which has a cruising speed of 264 miles per hour. Not too shabby. Number 2. The Delacner HZ-1 The HZ-1, also known as the AeroCycle, was a one-man helicopter made for the average soldier for use in battlefields. It had a small engine which would drive two rotor propellers. Strangely, the soldier would stand on a platform directly over the blades. 
Delacner refused to include any sort of safety device between the platform and the blades. Therefore, you really had to stay put and avoid falling off during a flight. On the positive side, the controls were simplified. During tests, untrained soldiers could fly the HZ-1 after 5 to 20 minutes of instruction. The prototype made a tethered flight on November 22, 1954, and a free flight in January of 1955 at the now-abandoned Brooklyn Army Terminal. In 1956, Fort Eustis in Virginia became the new testing ground for the HZ-1. Captain Selmer Sundby, who directed the trials, realized that the HZ-1 was difficult to fly. The rotors would kick up small rocks and other debris, and it also crashed several times after the entanglement of its rotors. Wind tunnel tests at the Langley Research Center in Virginia further revealed that the HZ-1 had an uncontrollable pitching motion. Due to the limitations, the Army terminated the project. Number 1. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook It's an American heavy lift chopper manufactured by Boeing Rotorcraft Systems. More than 1,200 twin-engine Chinooks have been built since the year 1962. One unit goes for $38.5 million. This badass chopper was named after the Native American Chinook people who occupied modern-day Washington state. To transport troops and cargo efficiently, it has multiple doors across its fuselage. Using its three external hooks, it can also carry unslung loads. When it made a debut in 1962, it had a top speed of 315 kilometers per hour, which was faster than most attack and utility helicopters. It has a payload of 24,000 pounds, carries a crew of three, and has a capacity of 33 to 55 troops. It's still one of America's fastest helicopters and has been successful worldwide. For instance, the long-range version, model 234LR, has been used as a commercial transport helicopter by British Airways Helicopters. It has participated in other secondary missions including search and rescue, disaster relief, firefighting, aircraft recovery, and construction assistance. In 2011, after the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster, three Japanese CH-47s were used to cool down reactors using seawater. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe! See you next time! Bye!